I am a fertility specialist. I have my own private practice and I'm located in, a, in an urban area of Dallas. Um, in the past year, I have seen an increasing rate of women who struggle with infertility. There is about 300 women that I see out of 3,000 that struggle with this issue. The main symptom of infertility is the inability to get pregnant at a childbearing age. Also, if your menstrual cycle is either too long or too short or even absent, that means that a woman is not ovulating, which is another symptom. In my clinic, we conduct an ovulation test where we measure the hormone levels to determine if the patient is ovulating. Uh, I also conduct a hysteroscopy depending on the symptoms such as irregular bleeding and severe cramping. Uh, during this test, I insert a thin lighted device through the cervix and into the uterus to view any abnormalities. Another test that I conduct is called uh, a lap laparoscopy. Uh, which is an invasive surgery which requires me to make an incision beneath the navel and inserting a viewing device um, in the fallopian tube, ovaries, and uterus in order to examine it. Um, we also do in vitro fertilization, which is another procedure that is used to assist with reproduction. It is the process of fertilization by extracting eggs and retrieving a sperm sample and manually combining the egg and the sperm in a laboratory dish then it is inserted into the cervix, into the uterus. Um, so my case study is a 35-year-old female with a primary infertility for two years. Her uh, gynecologic history was significant. Her first occurrence of menstruation was at the age of 14 and had irregular occurring menstrual cycles excuse me, uh, regular occurring menstrual cycles at 28 to 32 days intervals. Her medical history was significant for she had a bilateral transplant at kidney transplants at the age of 29 due to kidney failure. She also has Cushing syndrome resulting in long-term use of prednisone. Um, she has slightly obese, she's slightly obese, has acne, bloated and rounded face, and frequent yeast infections. Uh, my recommendations was to try a different approach on her body, which was, since it was being overworked by the medication she was taking, uh, which does not allow implantation, I recommend her to try any, I recommended her to try an acupuncture treatment in order to repair her blood. Um, after the two week, within two weeks, she was already seeing results. Her her face was looking different. Her body was feeling different. Um, so within a month, she was ready for in vitro fertilization. Acupuncture is what I recommend for my patients in order to get their immune system where I want it to be in order to prepare their body for fertilizations. And any other tests that need to be done will be done. Um, if there are any problems. Other than that, that was pretty much what I recommended for this patient was an acupuncture um, in order to get her where I wanted to be to get her get her body prepared for uh, the insemination. Thank you.